Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. Welcome back. It is Friday, and that means it's empties day. So we have some empties from upstairs and downstairs. I'll repeat it again. Downstairs, I have four full-size warmers. Upstairs, I have three full-size warmers and a plug-in. And I do change my wax frequently on the days that I'm off. Um, I just I'm ready for a new scent after four, five, six hours, whenever, whenever I change it. Okay, so downstairs, I finished a bar, a brick, sorry, a Scentsy brick in sugar cookie. I've had this probably two years ago or so, I think. Still smells great. It's a really good sugar cookie scent, so I recommend that. Um, let's just stick with Scentsy, I guess since we're on that page. And I, let's see what I did. Uh, on In my Sensi VIP group, or which is on Facebook, my, fa my Facebook Sensi VIP group, uh, I, I'll leave a link for it down below if you wanna join. It's not a big deal, it's just a place to go that I post Sensi deals, what, you know, what's coming down the pike. Um, but one thing we do in our Sensi VIP group is hashtag Mix It Monday. And so I mix, things and I show you what I'm mixing and I encourage everybody else to post what they're mixing on Mondays as well. So this week I mixed on this past Monday apple butter frosting and churro churro and this smelled like apple cider donuts in my house. It was so good. It was really really good. So I put one cube of each in each of my four warmers downstairs so I have leftovers. I can certainly do that again. The churro churro on its own, love it. It was in my Scentsy Club for quite a couple of rotations. I believe I took it out to put something else in, but it's that it is it is club worthy to me. It was really really good. Also, I melted tomorrow. You will see Fiesta Lime on Scentsy Saturday, so I'm not going to talk about it right here. You'll have to tune into Scentsy Saturday, and then I also melted a toasted marshmallow, and it seems to me. I mixed this with something, but I can't remember. I don't have an empty clam here. But anyway, even on its own, if you like Marshmallow Fireside from Bath & Body Works, this is that, but kicked up a notch. It's really good. The throw is like eight, nine out of 10. Really, really good. Okay, so what else? So there's not a whole lot down here, is there? Um, let's see, what is this? Oh yeah, I did finish a champagne pair from Candles from the Keeping Room. I've had this before. This was gifted to me. This you think is like you're not sure you, you do smell it this the throw originally you think when you're sitting in the same room with it might be like a seven out of ten but when you leave the room or like i left the house and when as soon as i opened the door and walked in the kitchen it's like oh wow yeah that's definitely champagne pear so it is a strong one i think my, my nose was getting a little blind to it but it definitely was good and um, I also finished a bag. This is so rewarding to finish these bags. Uh, from Gypsy Monroe, who's no longer in business. This was Blackberry Smoke, which was Bonfire, Blackberry Jam, Marshmallow Fluff, and Graham Cracker. This was really, really good. I would have preferred it even more if they had left out the Graham Cracker. Just Bonfire, Blackberry Jam, and Marshmallow Fluff. And actually, I could make a custom of that if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to save this to make notes, but anyway, so, um, not that it matters because you can't get it anymore anyway, because it's out of business, lots of drama. Uh, last week and I was into Walmart and I was trying to avoid the wall, the wax aisle for quite some time and I've been doing pretty good, but I went to pick up some wax for Canada Kim 1978 and I did by myself three clams of key lime cheesecake. It's good. It's really, really good. <laughs> Scent appeal for me is 10 out of 10. Definitely you get the zesty lime and you get the tart cheesecake. Very similar to blueberry cheesecake, but with lime. So I might have to pick up a few more of this one um, next time in Walmart because it was really good. I love this one. Throws 8 to 9 out of 10. Really, really, really impressed. And then sadly, although I think there's one in here, I guess there's not. I think these are my final two tea times. I had a sleeve of this, but they're close to three years old now, if not three years old. I don't know. I haven't seen it in a long, long time. 
And this was just when I was getting started in wax. I didn't even know anything about vendor wax yet. I was only buying Walmart wax. Um, and this was so good. I can still smell it in the clam. Originally when I got it, the throw was 10 out of 10 with one cube. And I'm not a one cuber, I'm a two cuber. But one cube will blow you out of the house. I loved this one. It never ever came back or never came back to my area of stores that I go to anyway. I could never find it online. Uh, but when I now that I'm melting it three years later, the throw has gone from a 10 on one cube to still not bad, seven and a half out of or eight with two cubes. So definitely I've left it too long. And so that's just a lesson learned again about hoarding. You think you love it and you do love it. You want to keep it that way forever and ever and ever. But then when it is time to let it go, it's not as what it used to be. So there you have it, my diatribe on hoarding. All right, upstairs, as I said, I have three full size, one plug in. And um, let's see what we went through upstairs. Okay. All right. Upstairs, um, again, my last cold ginger ale from Lake Providence Lodge. Wonderful, wonderful company. So good. Best ginger ale. Although, no, there's lots of people with good ginger ale now. Uh, but the very best banana bread. And I went on a hunt for a long time. Rebecca at Destination Wax makes a very good banana walnut tort that I kind of collaborated, collaborated with her on that. And that one is good also. And from Hayden Rowe, Sinus Blaster. I've never ordered from Hayden Rowe. So um, is there a date on here? I think I'm sure this was gifted to me in a random act of kindness. Um, because, like I said, I've never ordered from it. Hang around, but it's, it was good. Oh, definitely a stringent, like, um, Vix kind of business. I, that was in the bathroom. Uh, Luscious Pumpkin Trifle from um, Yankee Candle. And this is one of the melts that I got from Walmart. This was very cinnamony. Yeah, it was very cinnamony. It looks like you would get a creamy note and the cake note, but it was very strong on the cinnamon. So, eh. Not, 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 wasn't happy about that. Uh, some Goose Creek I went through. I finished Cozy Home. This was from May of 2018. So this is two years ago. This is a very deep, tobacco-y, firesidey, like rainy day scent to me. That's when I kind of tended to melt it on like cold, you know, rainy, ucky days. Um, I did enjoy that. I don't enjoy it now as much as I did then. I loved it then. I had a candle. I had a whole bunch of these melts. Um, I enjoy it, but just not as much as I used to because I guess my scents are changing. Uh, holiday rum cake. What is this little thing there? Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Okay. Um, it's a little icon or something on my screen. Holiday rum cake from Goose Creek. I love Goose Creek. I have great throw with Goose Creek. Um, and the, I'm melting them everywhere. Yes, you're gonna say, you're melting a cake upstairs in my guest room, spare room, granny room, craft room, nail room, office room. I kind of, I do melt anything up there because if I'm up there doing other things, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a sleeping scent. So that one is really good. That's That was a repurchase a couple of times as well. And this was from last fall, it's called Autumn. My first time with Autumn. It's like um, spiced apples. Definitely apple scent with some spices in there as well. So I did enjoy that one actually. And then three, uh, bring back my bars from this go round. Oh, which reminds me, um, if you're still interested in uh, ordering some bring back my bars, it was supposed to end the end of June, but it is going to go through into July. So keep that in the back of your head make your list. If you haven't already, don't forget to use bundle and save. You can also use bundle and save for bring back my bar. And if there's some that you're really in love with, put them in your Scentsy Club. If you don't already have a Scentsy Club, I can help you with that. And I did post a video not too long ago about Scentsy Club, which answers a lot of questions there as well. Uh, but anyhow, so upstairs I melted cherry vanilla. And this is the one between cherry vanilla and cherry limeade. I thought I was going to like this one better because of the banana note. 
I actually ended up liking Cherry Limeade better because of the effervescence and the fizzy note in that one. I really like that one a lot. But this one is good too. Uh, and then these two, uh, see they have X's on them. No, I, I didn't love them. So I melted them in the upstairs bathroom, in the guest bathroom. Um, and I just did one, actually I did eucalyptus in my bathroom echo in the spare bathroom. And one cube of this in a plug-in warmer in my bathroom, it wasn't too bad. It, I mean, definitely eucalyptus. And I don't dislike eucalyptus. Um, I don't love it. And obviously there's an X there. I don't love it enough that I would purchase it. But it, it was okay in the bathroom. I can't complain. Um, Echo is one that I really, really did not care for. Like eucalyptus is like, okay. But this one was like, mm, not okay. No, not okay. Very strong um, mahogany-ish, cologne -y. No, no. I remember, um, again, when I first started kind of getting into, you know, candles and wax and da-da-da-da, and I did have a couple mahogany somebody's candle. I'm, I won't say it, but you know who I'm talking about. Um, I, had, I burned like three in a row and I just thought it was the greatest thing ever. Oh my God, I love this scent. By midway through the third one, it was making me nauseous. It made me absolutely nauseous. So I had a half a one of that one and a full one left and I gave it to a coworker who absolutely was mad about it. So she was happy to get it and I was happy to get it out of my candle stash. But anyway, okay, so that is it for this week's empties. I do have, there's my, ba my melting basket right there. I have like probably, I don't know, four maybe five clams or whatnots in there, which I am going to finish before I load up a new melting basket. And actually what I was thinking I might do, I probably will do it um, a little bit later after lunch, is I'm going to film a new update of the wax closet right there that my sister Joanne, when I first came out about my wax collecting, um, she was, I, I have a video. I will link the video. It's a little amusing, her, her, her shock. But anyway, Joanne called it the bomb shelter for wax. And so now everybody knows Joanne as that. And people still comment still to this day, um, about Joanne calling it the bomb shelter for wax. And now other people refer to it as the bomb shelter for wax. So that is Joanne's claim to fame. Anyhow, so I am going to do an updated, uh, wa um, wax closet video a little bit later. Um, and yeah, you'll be shocked. I'm shocked, pleasantly shocked. Anyhow, so I hope everybody's having a great Friday. It's the weekend. Stay safe, everybody. Tomorrow is Sensi Saturday. Bring back my bar is still going on. Uh, I think tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow or sometime on the weekend, I'm, I'll be getting the July scent and warmer of the month. Wait till you see the warmer. If you haven't already, it's thebomb.com. Um, I think that's all the announcements I have for right now. So enjoy your day. I will see you soon. Bye.